Okay, so I get this question a lot about how do the phones get power from the network. So here's a good example. So right here, this is just kind of a mock setup in a lab, but this is a Cisco PoE switch. So that means two things. One is, is that the switch is the network brain, I guess, that helps devices connect back to the router and then it go out to the internet or wherever they need to go. And I just plugged this in, and it's booting up right now. And so what happens is from the router, or from whatever the source of the internet, you know, wide area network, a cable comes from there, goes into the switch somewhere. That's usually something your network guys do. You know, okay, so that's that's this gray cable is coming from the outside world or from the router. And then this black cable here is leaving one of the ports or is connected to one of the ports, which then comes around and goes into the back of this phone. All right, so that's doing two things. It's delivering the network signal, which makes the voice over IP phone work. It's also delivering power. So it's a kind of like a two for one deal. This black cable is carrying the network signals, but it's also carrying the, the um, oh, they're starting to power up now. It's also carrying the, 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 the 48 volts that the phone needs to do things like power up the screen and the buttons and make the sound work. So as this as this switch is booting up now, what's happening is it's it's going through some of its self-diagnostics and boot up sequences, but now it's starting to come online. It sent power out to the to the to the phone. So the phone's coming online. And in probably another oh minute or so this will be fully up. Now the phone usually takes like polycom phones typically take about 90 seconds to boot up. But anyway, so that's the explanation of how that works, is that the switch, this box here, this is a Cisco one, there's all kinds of different brands and shapes and sizes of switches, but the switch, when it has that PoE designator, which stands for power over ethernet, the switch is what delivers both the network signal and the power, which powers the device. That's why you don't need a separate plug for things like phones or, access points or whatever type devices run on PoE because they get their net they get their power from the network cable. All right. Hope that helps you out with your understanding. Thanks for watching.